I can understand your pain as you and me are the same as a nice person. But why are you live so painful? That's because you are unable to differentiate the matter, whether there is real or false, right or wrong, unable to trust each other, cannot live in harmony, cannot unite, do not know how to solve your problems, every day live in lies and concealment, lost of freedom and all of these was reasons of you unable to see your intellect reason, virtuous, side of thinking. All human beings in the world have two faces, thoughts. On one side are kind and rational, virtuous, thoughts, and on the other side are evil and irrational, immoral, thoughts. When irrational thoughts appear, we should use rational thoughts to conquer them, because kind and rational thoughts are always winners. When someone with ill-disposed, evil, uses irrational thoughts to control us in order to achieve their goals, we should conquer him with irrational thoughts and make him feel afraid to stay away from us. On the contrary, when facing a kind person, you should get along with him with a sincere heart and rational thought and this is a basic principle. Why there is a point to distinguish kind and evil people in the world? People will become kind or evil it depends on his heart. Evil people, they, have irrational thoughts, a very selfish and jealous heart, and therefore become evil people. On the contrary, a kind person has a rational mind, an unselfish and enviable heart, and therefore becomes a kind person. Why can't you see the other side of your rational thoughts? The reason is simple as someone ill-disposed or vicious people have hidden it. They just educate you on irrational thoughts and skills, for example, how to manipulate a certain machine, etc., to fulfill their wishes. These vicious people want to control you, eager to occupy your country, to let you can't be harmonized, can't see the facts, unable to complain to someone about your grievances, unable to refute with them, for generations, become their slaves. Who are they anyway? Let me solve this mystery. The education you had learned comes from American, so do you know how this country, America, came from? As early as the 18th century, British prisoners, vicious villains, should be executed for committing serious murders. But at that time the British government attached too much importance to human rights, freedom, and life, so it came up with a way to transport these prisoners by boat to a desert island so that they could fend for themselves or kill each other. In the beginning, they killed each other and bullied each other. But later, in order to retaliate and survive, they treat and observe humans as animals. Later, they discovered that the reason why kind-hearted humans are accomplished lies in their conduct and rational thinking, thus self-created anthropology. In the 19th century, it was the age of war. In order to seize the wealth and land of others, War is used to defeat the land and wealth of others. After the end of the Second World War, mankind also realized that the shortness of life and the terrible nature of war so as not to war anymore. At the same time, Americans also understand this truth. In the 20th century, America used technology and economic prosperity to deceive the world's attention. At that time, the education that mankind received was also very limited. Many leaders and people of Southeast Asian countries are deeply attracted and actively go to America to learn and seek policies and thus, led to today's tragedy. Is America still capable of fighting Southeast Asian countries, such as China, Korea, Iraq and other countries? The answer is impossible because the United States has already perished. Today, have you noticed that more and more companies from Western countries, especially American companies come to Southeast Asia for investment? Why? This proves that their country is unable to survive anymore. They, Americans, understand that their government is lying. Their people and country are in the same situation as yours now. The people cannot unite, exclude each other, lie to each other, and live in pain, anxiety, and fear. Thus, some American residents, 
cunning and wealthy Americans, fled to Southeast Asian countries to survive as they understand that only kind-hearted humans can succeed, be independent and be prosperous. Now, America has left only incapable residents, the elderly and children, how can they war against the world? Do you know that the government had to pay those unemployed or beggars, citizens, every month in America? Why? If your reply is a freedom country, then your answer is wrong. The real reason is that they know themselves very well. How can there be a government without people? Have you discovered that the British pound is a stable currency in the world? Because the residents of England are very rational and united. Then, why does America not war or retaliate against England? Because American understands its own abilities, they are permanent losers, because they have irrational and vicious thinking. The real definition of freedom is happiness, ease, peace, unrestrained, reasonable and intellect reason only. Don't care about the eyes of others, just dress comfortably, neatly, and decently, simple make perfect. A couple should respect each other, be honest, trust, courteous, tolerate, understand each other, give free space to each other, as well as simple satisfies by request for reasonable and intellect reason. As a husband, you should bear responsibility, take care of the family, be fond of your wife and children, furthermore, should have a man's demeanor, capable or rich, and should bring along his family, wife, and children to go for pleasure-seeking and enjoyment every way. Only this way, the relationship of one another will last longer and to live happily. For educating children, parents should use gentle, calm, patient, rational thinking, and teaching methods such as talking about reason or storytelling and etc. to enlighten their children, so that they can understand and realize. Therefore, we shouldn't be using temper, violence, beaten, scolded, or etc. methods to discipline them. As Proverbs said, to love people and people love you, to respect people and people respect you. Caring for young children is like caring for yourself, and respecting older people is just like respecting yourself. In this way, we are able to get a good return. Your heart is the best teacher. Whenever you do something wrong, you will feel sad and sorrowful. This, you should self-examine and courageously correct of your mistakes. After the Second World War ended in 1945, it has been only 58 years apart. It can be imagined that at that time, the education received by human beings was very shallow. At that time, parents were too eager to teach their children, too worried about their children's future, coupled with the lack of education which led to misbelieve the lies of others and thus resulting in today's tragedy, as every parent's hope their children can become a dragon and phoenix and look forward to their children's success and brilliant future, so life can be comfortable, peaceful, and happy. All children should comprehend the parents painstakingly, and shouldn't be calculative. The proverb says, the tree wants to be quiet but the wind keeps on, and the child wants to support, but the relatives are not there. This sentence implies that the tree wants to stand still, but the wind keeps blowing, while the children want to support their parents, but they are no longer in the world. Meanwhile, it also exhort that children to take good care of their parents while their parents still alive. Here, let me relate to you a conti with a big sense. Legend has it that in ancient China, there was a city named Crazy City. The residents there are all lunatics. There is a well outside the city, and the residents of the city rely on the water in that well for their livelihoods. It's been hearsay that the people in the city will become mad immediately after drinking a scoop of water from this well. One day, an assassin, stranger, came to this city and drank some water from the well outside the city but did not go mad. The people in the city knew about this matter, and they caught this assassin immediately to carry out an operation and pursue studies. 
The assassin suffered countless tortures and pains. At the end, he finally went mad, and the people in the city were jubilant as there was another lunatic. Therefore, be comprehended, awake and be unite, my friends. Life is short. Although it is a simple story, but please don't be stubborn anymore. Otherwise, you might experience the real meaning of this hearsay. Discard your worship towards America and be yourself. Because you have understood the truth of the matter and you have the ability to be independent and live freely, you should have your own personality and stop letting malicious people lead you by the nose. Life has long been doomed, don't believe the rumors anymore. As Idiom said, good advice jars the years, means faithful advice can make a country prosper, and rumors, lie, can lead to the country's destruction. Don't believe in rumors anymore, pay attention to evidence and proof in everything. Kind-hearted people should get good rewards, and vicious people should get the punishment they deserve. Stop deceiving yourself and others. To bully the good and fear the evil, the country will surely perish, help the good and bully evil, the country can be prosperous and strong. Only this, people can be united, free, happy and pleasant. A bright future is presented in front of you. It all depends on how you master and view your life. Now is the 21st century, not the age of war, but the age of civilization. Such as South Korea and Japan, they use culture to establish a new era. The proverb says, Know yourself and the enemy, and you will win all battles. A successful person differs from an unsuccessful person in that the former persevere, continue striving, whereas the latter give up halfway.